everybody welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me in this video it's going to be this is going to be a pick a card reading for the month of may wow this already has gone here so here are the three sets one two and three you can choose the file that you feel drawn to for your may guidance you can choose the stones or you can choose this card So, do remember that these are going to be general guidance. Uh, please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you can always move to the timestamp in the comment section to head to your readings straight away. Uh, let me show you this card if you want to see this. This is... Alright, let me not tell this. Let me... Let me just allow you to choose it on your own and then we're going to see what comes your way. So these are the sets, set one, two and three. Close your eyes, meditate on your question, what you want, what answers you want from your angels and let's see what angels have to tell, okay? So as usual, each of the cards will have an uh, answer from your angels. If you have any question, you can ask your angels and it will also have your area of work like what is that you are obsessing about that is stopping your growth and progress all right so choose your um, pile if you have not yet selected you can pause the video i will get started with the pile number one here okay so let me keep this aside here okay so there's a lot of blue here if i see this what is this? Your reputation and there is a butterfly here. So quite possibly it looks like a transformation is going to be the theme for you guys in the month of May. And the beauty thing, beautiful thing is that I see this transformation really going high up into the skies. And I also see that your transformation is out of the clouds. So if you have been going through the messy part of the transformation, then it's time for you to move out of that messy part of the transformation and... Uh, shine bright in your true colors okay and uh, i see you rising high with a lot of uh, colors shining bright okay there's a lot of blue color also so could be related with a lot of communication writing uh clarity may is definitely getting you clarity in whatever you are seeking that is what i'm getting let's see what is your uh, energy like let's first select the theme for you guys what is the theme bring a gentle touch one plus eight is nine so definitely some kind of uh, there is a there is a there is your you're approaching towards the end of a cycle of some sort and when you are towards the end of a cycle, what really happens is that things become very sluggish. Things become very slow. It, you feel that it is all of a sudden you feel little as if, you know, things are not working out. Do remember that things are darkest before the dawn. OK, so quite possibly this is exactly the time when you should not be stressing too much. That is why your guidance is to behave like a deer. You know, be easy. How is a deer? It keeps on running and flowing and moving around with that ease and that grace, right? So you need to imbibe that deer spirit, uh, that spirit of uh, easiness, you know, flowing and uh, that grace and that gentle touch, okay? So stop putting too much of force if you are putting into something because yes i did tell you that you are you have been through that messy part of the change you know the changes go through three phases it is very scary in the beginning and it is messy in the in between and when it is finally over towards the end it is beautiful so your beautiful part is here but i think you are most like mostly like you know you are going through that uh, uh the just uh, the dark the darkness you're seeing the darkness before the sunrise before the dawn let's see the energy guys okay mm. Mm. exactly 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 all right see so here is it you are working on something initial stage mm, looks like some business something could be you know 
uh, maybe you're working with a team member and uh, but you got started with working on something um, but yes here you are feeling stuck you know it's almost like everything is going right I am doing all the right things, putting the right things at the right place. Then why is this universe not supporting me? As if, you know, things are getting slow, not moving fast. Why is this obstruction happening? And you feel clouded. You don't understand why is this sluggishness. As I, as I just told you in the guided message, you know, you might be feeling this sluggishness. Things not moving fast, unnecessary obstacles you're facing. And uh, things get uh, delayed and... Uh, from nowhere so and you feel you just don't know what is getting all these things uh, blocked where are these blockages coming from you're not able to make sense of it and yes you need to take it easy you don't have to fret your uh, you know brain too much as to why is it not happening it will happen you are in the flow don't push stop pushing it too much and you will see that things start happening for you okay you will make a way through it messy part of the chain the gooey part of the chain it's very dense you don't understand things okay so what do you do you stop pushing hard and then you start floating you know how we swim when we stop stop panting too much it's then that we our body starts flowing okay so this is the area of work i think yes definitely if you start taking it easy, bring in a gentle touch, you will see that the things start flowing very beautifully in your life with that greater momentum and that universal push to your situation. Because the universe is already giving you a push and if you are pushing against the tide, then it is all creating that stuck energy and that all the ruckus. Support is all around, fellow travelers. Yes, you are working with a team which is supporting you. I think you are together, working together on something which is... Uh, um, and you have the support all around. You are working with a very supportive team. And there is a rainbow. And uh, there is a beautiful... Uh, there is a beauty to beauty ahead of you to be soaked into. If you understand what I mean, because here also a butterfly is all beautiful. It is time for you to shine like a butterfly with all its color. And here also, if you see the locale and the image is very beautiful. So I get a feeling that, uh, you know, there is something beautiful that is waiting for you. Or maybe you are creating something very beautiful and it is going to shape up very beautifully. Could be. With this, uh, with this peacock also, I'm getting this, uh, you know, the essence of this beauty thing. Uh, aesthetics something beautiful something very something related with maybe designing that is shaping up very beautiful and there is a all lot of support around you the team is you know there is a lot of teamwork and uh, positive support for each other as well as there is a universal support as I told you so stop pushing against the universal force and just let the universe sweep you off your feet it will get you you know the moment you stop pushing hard and you take it easy bring in the gentle touch you will see that you get a breakthrough to your dead block okay what are you what is that you need to oh wow this is so great and i have not seen the cards guys okay surrender to non-action this is exactly what i was picking up okay so you have to take it easy you have to just let it go let the boat you know sail on its own because you know the winds are supporting you you don't have to push it okay just let it just just leave it and let the universe sail you off your boat and let you fly here because you're flying here so surrender to non-action guys now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe in and focus your own power let the let the others come to you okay if you feel that you know you you're waiting on to something then stop you know calling back checking up on that and let them come to you absolutely beautiful okay let's see what is your answer if you have asked the question compromise okay so you got a compromise card forgiveness heals all right okay so it makes sense guys all right so there is something here hmm? so you have probably uh, you know, for some of you, you just have to wait and watch and things will just happen. 
you know you have to stop putting that scar that uh, too much of force into it for others it is just that you know probably there is a tussle there is a you know a tug of war between your team members okay here could be with anybody around you and you are like you know you're not forgiving the person time to release uh, repressed anger and it is blocking your health and happiness okay so you need to compromise here the compromise basically means that you know you just forgive the person for what it is except that we all are human beings we all are imperfect beings and we do make mistakes but to carry that hurt and that uh, whatever is that hurt in our heart is only hurting us and you know moreover not serving the situation especially in this case it's not serving the situation and uh, while the card says compromise it is basically like you forgive the person don't he uh, don't let that uh, thing be in your heart and stop you from uh, moving ahead and uh, you know in that process you just stop the stop everything else because i just told you that something beautiful is here to you know come up because with eight number here there is abundance there is beauty there is results coming in why you want to stop this because of uh, you know some grievances or there is a blockage or there is a, a hold up or there's some kind of tug of war okay we all are imperfect beings and we should consider forgiving people for they being imperfect all right okay so let me do one thing i'll pull one more card for you guys and uh, let's see what is your guidance coming guidance coming for this pile you got to definitely be very careful with your communication with this blue throat chakra there's a lot of blues here do remember to be very and you have to be very careful with your words is what i'm getting Wow, nature, beautiful, moderation, amazing. So here is something guys, uh, if you are feeling too much stuck in your uh, body, here you are feeling too much stuck, then you, yes, you need to go, some of you need to go to, uh, sorry about that. You need, some of you need to go to, go into the nature, ground your energy so that, you know, it's more like, you know, your in and yang and your prana and your life force energy is all berg circ berg circ so you need to go and ground that energy so that when everything starts flowing beautifully in alignment you will things will fall in place the second thing is that moderation yes don't go extreme moderation is the key even if you are angry with somebody or things are not working out do watch out on your words and uh, see to it that you don't say anything uh, that probably you will have to repent later on okay so see to it that you follow the middle path and the another thing is that nature i already told you uh, another thing is completion so something is coming to a completion and it makes more sense that when something is something that you have worked hard for you know getting along with people you have worked hard on something and when something is complete coming to full completion beautiful closure you don't want to spoil that with the uh, with the ego game or with the uh, war of words or with just some little thing you know allowing it to creep and this you disturb your mind and peace so let that go let the bygones be bygones and shake your hands and accept it and let the beautiful that beautiful thing that wants to come let that come in all right uh, give me um all right so that is all the guidance i have for all the people thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know if it helps you and i will see you again till then take care of yourself and bye for now the reason i'm asking you to be careful here is also because you have the this card is all about your reputation okay so you just need to be a little careful about it don't be too stubborn that really impacts you okay because you have worked hard for something and you wouldn't want that to spoil your hard work because something is coming to beautiful closure. Let's move on to the second pile. Uh, if you Let's see what is your theme. Understanding greed. All right. There's understanding greed here. What is the theme? This is not the card for that one. 
embrace the in-between flamingo spirit so there is a lot of this sacral chakra energy that I'm picking up and you have the 8 2 plus 6 is 8 so there is 8 um, embrace the in-between so there is looks like there is something that is not making sense okay things are not very clear let's see what are the energies like Oh wow, so you got the 8th number here also and I just told you 8 here. So 8 is about abundance but 8 is also about the strength. So your abundance needs strength. So it's not going to fall, your abundance is not going to fall in your lap. You will have to put the strength out there because universe has given you that strength and universe wants you to use the strength to overcome the obstacles in your life. Okay? And when you do that, new things will happen okay there is a new beginning so quite possibly there is a new opportunity coming your way guys and uh, you should be just prepared to capitalize on the opportunity because there is a spiritual energy there is a spiritual um, Universe is waving its wand and bringing you some opportunity. So are you ready to capitalize on that? You have been feeling dissatisfied with life for some time now. As if things not really happening. And you need to embrace the things in between. Understanding the greed. Okay. Surrender to play. Fear of change. If you see, these are all, you know, the shades of sacral chakra. Here, 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 here. These are all red. While the pile number one was all about blue, shades of blue, which was more of your throat chakra energy, this is all a sacral chakra energy. Like something is related with uh, your passion and your creativity here. One is again about your creativity and passion. And... Uh, a new beginning awaits you but uh, are you ready to take it on because you are you are being scared of some change but you are not happy either you are you're not in a happy place and you must take on the change you have the strength why are you fearing the change because a new opportunity is being presented to you it might not be very clear but you need to make sense and read in between the lines to see and take probably calculated risks to see that yes, this opportunity has the potential to become something super big. And play with it, you know, instead of being too cautious and being fearing the change and not taking on the opportunity, it's time for you to play on. You know, the lion is uh, the lion spirit here is somebody, a lion, Leo, Leos especially. They take on the challenges, they are very playful. And you are being asked to embrace this Leo spirit. Take it on. Play with it. Bring it on kind of energy. Exp Take break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So stop, stop overthinking about something. You have the strength. You have the power to take it on whatever it is. And I guess that probably, you know, there is a new opportunity and you don't know whether it is going to be good or not for you. So your guidance is definitely don't fear the change. Go for it and embrace the in-between. Probably you don't know whether this opportunity is good or not good. Unless and until you try, you wet your hands, you will not know whether it is good or not. So go for it. Progress, not perfection. Exactly. Move on. Move. Keep on moving. Don't fear the change. Don't obstacle it. I think you are uh, emitting an energy where you feel that there is an opportunity and you feel that you're not ready for it. And you are like, okay, I, don't, I can't take it. I'm not ready for it. And the universe is telling you are absolutely ready. You are perfect. Don't strive for perfection because you cannot attain perfection you can only keep on rolling with it and as you keep on rolling you start you go on to becoming better and better and better okay so just play on with the opportunity that is being handed over to you okay there are fruits of results here joy and delight open your heart to joy yes so see do you see what energy universe is asking you to embrace it is asking you to 
embrace your inner child how are childs you know they are curious about things they are not scared whether they are going to lose in this game or they are going to win they just want to go and play okay so that is what it is embrace this joy and delight and 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 show the strength show the strength to move into the darkness you, sorry i'm so sorry about that uh, to move into the light and embrace the light and see what this light this new opportunity has for you okay something beautiful is definitely waiting for you because that you see it's going to be that something that was going to startle you up that is going to surprise you up it's like a magic being cooked what is your answer communicate clearly communicate clearly because because uh, you are being asked to embrace something in between something that is not clear okay when things are not clear you can also ask for clarity you can also mm, get your doubts cleared what is that is not making sense anything new that is uh, uh, you know there are fears of change and whatever that is allowing you to take on this change you can communicate that to the other person so that you have your answers so that you feel a bit more comfortable and would a bit more uh, ready to take on the change a bit more playful to take on the change a bit more relaxed and not thinking too much okay so if there is anything that you that is not clear then know that you can ask you can communicate clearly you can ask for further information and things like that all right let's take one card from here and see what is your guidance okay wow adventure so take it on girls and guys whoever is watching five five there is a change a big change that is coming in your way you don't know what it is but take on this it's going to be an adventure you never know what you are going to cook out of this so you see you are totally surprised that what is cooking out of this you what is cooking out in this adventure so take on this adventure hmm? I want to pull one more card for the blessings, but I'm not getting where the cards are. Mm. Give me a moment. All right, let's see what is your blessings coming in. Let's do this. Let's pull one more card for you, and let's see what is your blessings. Wow. Follow the voice of your soul, so you have your answers. Okay, so what? Go within. Look what your inner voice is telling. If your inner voice tells that yes, this is a change, and this is what I should go for. This is what I should embrace. Then go for it, because this is the stars are waiting for you. So that is all the guidance I have for all the people who have chosen the second pile guys do let me know what you feel about the reading if it helps you if it resonates please like the but the please like the video and subscribe to the channel and i will see you again till then take care of yourself and bye for now and let's head on to the third pile so all of you who have chosen this stone let's see what may is getting for you guys um uh, Is it living with grief? This is really one when very heavy energy card that is coming up, showing up. Living with grief. What is the theme for you guys? Learn from the past. So there is some kind of loss, is what I'm picking up. Some kind of loss from the past, a heavy energy that you are going through. Let's see what is your cards. Okay, with this devil card, I'm not surprised that you are going through some heavy, heavy energy. But you are also coming out of this energy is what I'm getting. But uh, there is something that needs to be, that has to be learned from the past. Okay. There is something that has to be learned from the past. May is definitely bringing in balance in your life. 
uh, you are also it is also bringing in clarity as to what was stopping you stopping your abundance okay what was stopping the sun from shining but uh, and this clarity asks you to learn from your past you know whatever that was not working out some kind of temptation is here some kind of uh, mm, you know overindulgence in something but i think you with the sun rising here in the horizon things are becoming clear in your life so may is bringing clarity in your life and it is bring so it's beautiful the sun is shining here also so may is bringing clarity in your life it is bringing balance in your life money especially financial balance is uh, coming in there's going to be a equal inflow and outflow you will be able to provide if you are really been struggling for something you are going to see the results in uh, uh, may but the deal is that you need to not repeat the mistakes that you have made earlier okay let's see what is coming in rejuvenating rain exactly it's going to bring you the much needed respite that you have been waiting for you have been struggling here with the growth issue is what i am seeing with something really overpowering your growth it could be uh, it could also be you know somebody in your uh, surrounding that is uh, you know stopping your growth are you feeling this somebody who is uh, in your in your surrounding that is trying to take your power then you need to be aware of this first of all and then you need to separate yourself from this entity who is trying to overshadow your growth trying to take your success and trying to stop your abundance because abundance is waiting for you but there is something that is stopping you it could be your own thoughts nagging thoughts or it could be somebody literally stopping your abundance you need to stop that but yes may is definitely bringing you the much needed relief from the grief and the sadness and all the things not working in the past and it is bringing you the rejuvenating rain where it all your uh, you know the sadness will be washed off and it will you feel healed may is bringing you healing what is that you need to stop resentment you need to stop resentment let go of something let go of something free yourself you know there is a devil here and probably you became aware of this person that he was taking your power in some way and you need to free yourself from this person and even probably you know holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward positive solutions in your life so positivity is definitely coming in your life balance is coming rejuvenating rain healing is coming but you need to just move away from the past learn from it forgive it and move on celebrations and ceremony this is only getting beautiful for you because there is a celeb there is going may is going to give you opportunities to celebrate uh, it's whatever little success is there it could be even a big success if you just learn from your past and put the lessons into place and practice but looks like something big because universe is giving you this 9 of pentacles card which is a mini empress card so definitely there is something that you have been working on which was not working which was not showing the results so far is getting you the results if you get out of your way and stop the resentments and you just allow yourself to flow you know that kind of a thing let's see what is your answer forgiveness wow forgiveness you need to forgive somebody because you are holding resentment as well so you need to forgive somebody let's see what is your guidance coming from here you need to free yourself the resentment is blocking your energy field and your abundance and your growth and balance from coming in your life and you need to let that go away
teaching and learning. Yes, it is all about learning from the past. It is teaching and learning, learning from life. It's time for you. It's definitely, you know, some there's, I guess there was a major lesson, life lesson that was involved in your situation. And it's important for you to be able to heal the situation. It's important to learn it. Learn from it and move forward. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy and see from the eagle spirit. With the devil card here, yes, you need to protect yourself. Surround yourself with the protective energy. With this devil card here, yes, there is somebody who is taking your power and you need to protect yourself. But more importantly, you need to separate yourself and move away from it okay and the another thing is that higher perspective whatever it is even if the situation is not working out know that this is something that needs a bit of patience because it will boil down to something very successful for you because it's going to pay you in the long run okay so that is all the guidance i have for pile number three thank you so much for watching guys do let me know if it resonates and like and share and subscribe if it helps you and i will see you again till then take care of yourself and bye